In the book, Classroom Instruction That Works, Second Edition, 2012, the authors point out five non-linguistic representation strategies that teachers can model and use to motivate students. These strategies have been shown to help students create, store, and manipulate information mentally, as well as with concrete tools and displays. One strategy is creating graphic organizers. Pupils focus on representing relationships among the components of the knowledge being explored, learned, and applied. Students combine words and phrases with symbols, arrows, and shapes to organize and articulate relationships. Graphic organizers include representations for descriptive patterns, time sequence patterns, process patterns, episode patterns, generalization patterns, and concept patterns. Another strategy is making physical models or working with manipulatives. Learners get busy in hands-on tasks in which they create concrete representations of knowledge. They make something. A third strategy is generating mental pictures. Pupils focus on visualizing the knowledge they are exploring. The mental pictures that they create incorporate senses, physical sensations, and emotions. Another strategy is helping students refine their ability to create pictures, illustrations, and pictographs. Students engage in sketching, painting, or using technology to create symbolic pictures. The pictures they make represent the knowledge they are learning and applying. Finally, there is engaging in kinesthetic activity. Students perform an action. They engage in physical movement that is central to understanding or applying a concept. The movement is associated with specific knowledge. It is meaningful. The movement is used to generate a mental image of content and skills being learned.